Hi, and welcome to Podcasting 101. I'm Lucy Leecraft. I'm a journalist, po podcaster, and blogger. Um, and I wanted to show you some really simple ways to make your podcast sound better. The software that I use is called Audacity. It's free. It's really, really easy. I love it. You can use GarageBand as well. I'm just going to pull out the auto-ducking effect so that I can show you how to do it. It's really, really simple, and it's for those of you who want a little bit more of a polished finish. If you use music in your podcast, um, it's perfect for that. So instead of having to pull down the volume manually of your voice when the music comes in, you can just click a button and it will automatically drop the volume of the music as your voice comes into the track. So let's start, shall we? I'm just importing my audio tracks, which I have a copy, an MP3 and a WAV file. Uh, I always use WAV to edit. That's kind of best practice. So I just pull in that little track using the import function in Audacity. And then you want to move the track up to the top, so above the, the main kind of voice track. Using Control 3, I'm just making um, making it much bigger so that I can see track in more detail. And I'm just lining up where I want it to be. And then I literally just click the top, the top track, the music track, click auto duck. And that's it, that's done. You can see, I just, I'm just testing it out now to make sure that um, my settings were correct and the music is low enough that you can hear my voice because I've got quite a quiet voice, so I always like to check that. And then all I'm doing is going to tracks and mix and render, rendering those two tracks together. So that means literally they've just become one track. And now I'm getting the music for the end of my podcast using the little clicker function I'm just pulling that all the way to the end and lining it up exactly where I want it to be you can add you can you can make your intro and outro and have them with music over the top and then you literally just pull them in each time so that you don't have to do this but I quite like having the music come in over the end of me and my guest talking so all I've done is basically repeat the effect and now I'm just checking again and just making sure that it sounds okay and it's not coming in too loud or too soft. And now I'm just literally gonna repeat the process. Control A will select all the tracks and then you just go to tracks, mix and mix and render. And that's it, that's all done. I hope you enjoyed this mini tutorial. Um, subscribe for more tutorials or head to my blog, lucylewcraft.com. Um, you can find my podcast, What She Said, 